When a blue-gray gnatcatcher parent nears the nest, each baby opens his mouth like a catcher's mitt, and the food hits the target almost as fast as a baseball crosses the plate. Blink and you'll miss the feeding entirely. Even in slow-mo, the baby bird beaks quiver like tuning forks. In less than a month, they'll whip through the air after their own insects, feathered pinballs ricocheting around in the branches. When the food comes out the other end, the feces arrives neatly packaged in a teensy balloon that squeezes out his rear end. Easy to dispose of. The babies inhabit a nest that was built out of plant stems and tree bark, glued together with spider webs and covered with lichen. It's only an inch and a half in diameter. Now my thumbnail is half an inch long, so their nest is the size of three thumbnails. How can that be enough to hold four baby birds? Well, for the last two or three days before they fledge, it isn't. By that time, they're more crowded than people in a shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder elevator. They're practically vacuum-packed. So this one has decided to be the first olive out of a jar. He squeezes upward and pops free. It's the only way if he wants to preen those brand new feathers or flutter them. He doesn't apologize for sitting on his siblings, and they probably don't care because they're breathing easier. As soon as the nestlings fledged, the parents, even as they continued to feed the youngsters elsewhere, started ripping the old nest up and recycling the materials for a new nest for the next brood.